Welcome back everybody to video number three. Now this is the videos that I do where we showcase all the work of the working royals. There's a lot to cover. This has been a very busy week. Let's jump in and get there, shall we? Let's go. We're gonna start with Queen Camilla. She went to visit a primary school's literary festival on Wednesday. She was at the Christ Church C of E Primary School in Chelsea, which is in Southwest London. She was met by year four pupils, Marina, age nine, and Lexi, age eight, who had been practicing their curtsies, which I think is really sweet. We know how much Camilla loves reading and you know, the whole thing with the reading. Okay. So when she got there, she visited a reception class. She heard about the Shepherd and Sheep Reading Initiative, which allocates new pupils in reception to a year six pupil who acts as a friend and role model throughout the new pupil's first year at school. She looked absolutely gorgeous in her outfit. She also got a tour around the school and she chatted to students as they colored pictures and read books. So funny, she was shown a mosaic of King Charles and she looks up and goes, oh my goodness, that's my husband. <laughs> so cute. So she met a lot of these um, students and it just looked like she had a really, really, really good time. Cheers at the end. And of course, as she left, she had a fabulous bouquet of flowers in her hand. Next up, the Earl of Snowden, he is Princess Margaret's son, uh, was seen with Isabella Chopin de la Bruyere. They were at the Serpentine Summer Party 2024 at Serpentine South in London on June 25th. Next up, for those on my Patreon, you know I did a whole video beginning to end of the uh, first day of the Emperor and Empress's visit from Japan. Anyway, some more pictures came out of the inside of the Buckingham Palace ballroom before that fabulous dinner with the tiara moments, and I just wanted to show them. What a beautiful room. Now, the next night, the Emperor of Japan, not the Empress, just the Emperor, went to have a banquet at the Guild Hall in London. And the Duke of Edinburgh was there and the Lord Mayor of London was there with his wife. Who was not there was, again, Sophie and the Empress. And of course, after the Emperor arrived and the requisite, you know, group photos were taken, uh, then of course, I think they had him, there were, there were, I don't want to say soldiers, you know, the, the, the gorgeous people in their uniforms. And it looks like he went out to inspect them again, which is what he did when he first arrived with King Charles. Now, while the king is walking through and looking at the troops, try to take a look at his jacket. In case you don't notice, he's wearing two different orders on his jacket. One is from the UK, and that is the Order of the Garter. So that's, you, we know what that is. And the other one is the Order of the Chrysanthemum, and that is a Japanese uh, order. Now, just as an FYI, I should have added this earlier, the Empress was not on the expected list for dinner, but Sophie was, and she didn't show up. A beautiful large room. They were trumpeted in, then they walked in while everybody stood, just like what happened at the other banquet. Uh, and then everybody took their seats and the banquet started. I just, I wish this is one of the, the places that I would have gotten to see while I was in the UK, but it's absolutely phenomenal. This took place, by the way, on June 26th. For those of you who don't know, the banquet was held in London's financial district. It was held by representatives of the city of London. There were about 650 people in attendance. Also earlier in the day, the emperor went to the Royal College of Music, which is one of the world's leading music universities. And um, he listened to performances by students at a simulation facility that recreates acoustics, like concert halls, pretty cool. All right, let's move on now. And the next day was the final day of their official state visit and the king and queen walked the emperor and empress of Japan out of Buckingham Palace, shook hands with them, uh, and then said their goodbyes. They also, by the way, 
uh, the Majesties shook hands of the British and Japanese delegations inside the 1840-40 room. It's being reported before they walked to the grand entrance to say goodbye. It was very warm. They were laughing. They were joking. They were waving. It looks like this did really well. It was a good visit. A good time was had by all. And it's very obvious that they harbor an affection for each other, which I think is really, really nice. All right, let's move on. Next up, we have Princess Anne. I'm getting a little worried about Anne. Let me explain. Uh, they said she would be in the hospital one to two days. I think we're on day three or four. She's still in the hospital. Reports are she has retrograde amnesia, which means she can't remember what happened. That usually happens with severe blows to the head. I had the same thing after my car accident. I don't remember anything of the day. I don't even remember the day before that. It like steals your memories. And I'm still concerned as to how this accident happened. We're really not sure. And I think I'm waiting for somebody to say something. You know what I'm saying? What's happening here? All right, let's move on. Next up, let's move on to Prince William. This fabulous photo of William talking and walking with Bill Gates, who happens to be the founder of Breakthrough Energy. Uh, they were at the Breakthrough Energy Summit in London, and that summit brings together leaders in technology, policy, science, academia, and business. And everybody collaborates on climate solutions. So William took part in a panel discussion about how to scale up innovative environmental projects. He explained why impact is so important in driving forward and scaling up solutions to repair the planet. So what was going on was this was the Earthshot Prize Innovation Camp to celebrate the impact of the Earthshot Prize finalists and global climate innovators. And William was spotted wearing his plastic floral tie by Wilwock One. Uh, this is a recycled tie made from plastic. I think it looks great on him. Now, the day before that, the Prince of Wales was spotted at the Groundswell 24 stand. Now, they're working with the Duchy of Cornwall to support tenant farmers across the estate through training and advice to help encourage low-carbon farming practices. Here is a man who's worried about the planet and the environment, and instead of, you know, jetting around on private jets like somebody else, he's doing something about it. So while William was at the Groundswell 24 tent, the Duchess of Edinburgh's secret weapon, Sophie, who happens to be the honorary president of LEAF, L-E-A-F, which is linking environment and farming, she was visiting the Groundswell Agricultural Festival show at Lanark Manor Farm. Remember that LEAF aims to support sustainable food production and engage young people with where our food comes from. And so in this capacity, she goes around to agricultural shows as patron of the Association of Show and Agricultural Organizations, which happens to be the representing body for the UK's many agricultural, horticulture, equine, and countryside events. Love it. I think Sophie looks fabulous and fashionable as she always does. And a big thank you as always to Remy Lot Sauce for showing us everything she was wearing. Let's move on. Now, while Sophie was at one agricultural show, Edward was at another agricultural show. He was at the Royal Norfolk Agricultural Association show. While Edward was there, he met a young girl named Sasha who was selected from the Young Diamonds nominations to meet Edward. Also, while he was there, a battle of the bands took place and a group called Amaret won, and they were presented with their trophy by Edward. All in all, it looks to me like Edward had a fabulous time there. Good for him. All right, you guys, you know what to do. Hit the like button and the subscribe button. Don't forget to go down into my description box where you'll find the links to my Twitter, my Getter, my Rumble, my email, my Patreon, my Amazon wish list, my address, my physical address. If you've donated anything to my coffee fund, thank you so much. And as always, you guys, have a great day.